first project we're gonna make with wood shop at home is a tri-square. Super important woodworking tool. Um, this is a woodpecker's. This is about $100 made out of anodized aluminum. Can't afford to send one of those home with every kid, but they need a square, so we're gonna make one, right? This is super easy. You're gonna get a pre-cut triangle and a fence here that's got a dado groove in it. It's just gonna require some gluing and some sanding and also marking the rule on one edge. Let's get started. My first attempt cutting the triangles out for you guys, I tried the miter saw, which is this. But no matter how many times I tried, I could not get it perfectly square. So I tried the, the table saw using a miter gauge. The table saw cut this square, but it was way too time consuming. I need another way to do this. I think this will do the trick. The Laguna IQ CNC router. the table saw to cut the fence to three quarters by half inch. I'm also using the table saw with a dado stack blade to cut the groove. Then I use the miter saw to cut everything to length. Take your two pieces, slide the triangle in the groove, make it flush on one end, and mark right here and put an X on that side of the line. Now place your fence stock in the miter box and set your blade up so it's on the right side of that line where your X is. Pull back a couple times, get the, start, the cut started. Next, I want you to put a bead of glue on the bottom of the groove and then a bead of glue on the edge here and the edge here. Now take masking tape and just tape around the triangle and the fence just to hold this in place so we can put C-clamps on it. Now go ahead and pull the tape off and clean up any excess glue with a damp cloth. I'm gonna let that dry for an hour. After you take the clamps off, I want you to go ahead and take your 320 sandpaper and just give this a light sand. Right, just breaking the edges a little bit. This is plywood that has been pre-sanded. And then also break the edges on the hardwood fence, make it look nice and good. Next, I want you to take your tape measure, hook it on one end of your miter box upside down and tape it in place. Then take your square, set the fence against the edge of the board, and we're gonna go ahead and mark the rule on this. We're gonna start by marking the full inches, about a half inch long mark. Then go to the half inches. Then we're gonna to go to the uh, quarter inches. Last, we're gonna do one eighth with a tiny little line.
Next, I want you to take a black ballpoint pen and go over all these lines super accurately. And let's finish it up by adding the whole number at the full inch marks. I'm gonna be going ahead and putting on a Minwax Wipe on Poly. Uh, this is something I recommend you guys get. This can is about 10 bucks and it will cover all your projects that you're building this semester. Um, and if you can't get this, you can go ahead and just use like a vegetable oil or a canola oil, something like that. It's just gonna bring the color out of the wood but I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this on and then take a rag and wipe it in. And you'll see how it brings out the color of the wood. It's gonna seal it and just add a nice finish to this. All right, so once again, that is a wipe on poly. You can get that at Lowe's or Home Depot. All right, you guys, that's a wrap on the Tri-Square with Rule.